Meat Boy is back, and today we are making met or meat mit. No idea how to say it. Uh, M E T T. It's a German preparation of raw pork with minced onions on rye bread. Sometimes they add different seasonings like caraway, and we're going to do a take on it with beef because most people don't have access to raw pork that is high quality enough. We don't have the uh, ground Iberical pork on Frankie Strange meat anymore, although I guess you could take some of our pork and grind it up yourself. Uh, so we're gonna do onions, my own spice blend, and we're gonna put it on sourdough bread. And if you guys watched my steak tartare video, oh man, two or three years ago now, it's not the same spice blend, but you know the principle is kind of the same, raw meat on bread. So everything today is organic, including the meat. We're just trying to remove as many negative chemicals as possible. 100% grass-fed, 93.7 lean ground beef from Frankie's Strange Meat. We have the Bolivian Rose Land Salt, some black peppercorns, coriander, thyme. Uh, you could do rosemary uh, instead of the thyme if you'd like. And we just have uh, just one raw onion right here. We're gonna blend the spices in the spice grinder, puree the onion in the food processor, then just mix it all together and combine it with the beef. And do equal parts salt and black pepper. Doesn't really matter how much you put in here because you don't have to use all of the blend in this, you could just save some of it for a different recipe. Now, if you've never had coriander, it's one of the only spices I actually like outside of thyme. You know, most things like clove, paprika, I'm not much of a fan of, but coriander I can get behind. Half part thyme. Just pour this out of here. We will take the food processor, put our onion in here with uh, maybe Half the spice blend. Oh, almost forgot. We need to add some acidity to this. Uh, you can use vinegar or mustard. I'm gonna do maybe half a teaspoon of red wine vinegar. So we basically just have a raw onion spice puree. For one pound of ground beef, you don't wanna go crazy with this because you can always add more. Okay, so now we taste it and decide if we wanna add more onion. It's pretty tasty, but we can definitely add a little more. Now, since we're putting this on bread, we want it to have a pretty pungent onion flavor. If you're just eating it on its own, like tartare without the bread, then you can go a little more mild. There we have it. So I just popped some bread alone sourdough bread in the toaster, probably my favorite one. Again, still not perfect. You're better off making the bread yourself, but I am definitely not doing that today. Now, what got me to come up with this was, you guys probably saw a couple weeks ago for my day of eating, I was having like a steak sandwich where I would saute the steak, put it on some bread, and I actually just started smearing uh, raw ground beef on the bread and eating that. And then I remembered uh, about the raw pork German recipe, so I looked it up and uh, decided to show you guys this today. Oh. It's really such a delicious blend of spices. The onion, the coriander is perfectly balanced. You get the salt and the pepper to bring it out. Definitely want to toast the bread. Just as good as steak tartare. Delicious. Well, that's going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. Another delicious way to incorporate some high-quality raw animal protein into your diet. You can check out the meat and salt on frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Otherwise, all my other businesses you can see on frank If you guys could please drop a like on the video. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, if you could please post this on any social media you have access to, that's another way to support me. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.